A tactical team methodically emptied a Calgary home believed to be connected to the two suspects. Tensions were high as police scoured the city for two young men alleged to have killed one of their own. This raid came up empty in the search for 19-year-old Amir Abdurrahman and a 17-year-old male believed to be driving the car. Hours later, both suspects turned themselves into police. The two are charged with first-degree murder in the death of Sergeant Andrew Harnett, a 12-year veteran of the Calgary Police Service. A family has lost a son, a sibling has lost a brother, a spouse has lost a partner, and many, many members of our service have lost a really good friend. We've all lost Sergeant Andrew Harnett. Harnett's older brother, Jason, calls it devastating. He loved policing. I mean, he didn't need to be out. On Christmas Day, he didn't need to be out on New Year's Eve. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, that's the last thing that I, that I texted him before I wished him Happy New Year's was, uh, you be safe. Harnett's safety was shattered during a check stop when he pulled over a car with plates not matching the vehicle. The vehicle sped off, striking and killing the decorated officer seen here giving a police helper badge to a young boy on his beat. His death reminds us uh, of the very real risks taken by police officers every day to protect public safety. They go to danger, the rest of us leave. And sometimes they deal with the worst elements of our community in order to protect the best elements of our community. Charlotte Seahauer has lived in this neighborhood for decades. She was so moved by the thought of Harnett's family, she lay flowers. They need all the support that they can get and even if it's just a little bundle bundle of flowers just to let them know that people are thinking about them and I myself I'm pray, praying for the family and Carolyn we do expect some developments in this story tonight yes that's right uh, both suspects are expected to appear before a justice of the peace tonight or possibly tomorrow so that they can be formally charged first degree murder